yo, 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 what's up world, what's up world, it's your boy Trey D of Strap Town Entertainment, checking in with you guys for another unboxing for you guys, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video, and we are doing a stream at the same time on my laptop for my Facebook followers, I am actually recording both at the same time, it's going to be live, just like my videos on YouTube, they're not live, you know I edit the video, but I don't ever change anything I do. I hope you guys have been uh, having a good time. It's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a new video for you guys. Had a few unboxings if you see the boxes right here. So I thought I'd do it live. Facebook watching, YouTube watching. Make sure you like this channel if you're on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Your boy Trey D is like maybe 250 subscribers away from 1,000. At 1,000, like I told you, we'll be doing a very, very, very big shoe giveaway. Check out the links in the description of this video. My Instagram, my Twitter, my eBay, and all that stuff. Tap in with me if you want to buy some shoes from me. Let's get to this unboxing, guys. So I have uh, a bunch of stuff that I got from Looping in store and picking up reservations, and I also got some stuff that got mailed. I'm gonna do the mailed stuff first because there's some new stuff that I haven't seen. Let me see if I've seen uh, either one. Of, no, I haven't seen e either one of these shoes. I have three that got shipped today. And I also picked up a couple of pairs of those Dunks, the Championship Red. Those did very well. You know, Dunks retail at $100 for everybody out there that follows me that resells. I sold a pair for $200. So it's an easy double up, especially to be a very low overhead $100 is something everyone could afford. It was a size 11 and a half. Shout out to the homie Dre. You gotta have some good clients to be getting rid of it that quickly, unless you just post it on the internet. We have a New Balance box, straight from New Balance, straight from New Balance, and this is actually a collaboration. New Balance is actually getting very popular right now. This collaboration was with Levi's, I believe. Yeah, this is a receipt in here, nothing but official. You know what the vibes are? It says New Balance, Levi's for feet. New Balance, Levi's for feet. So these actually retail at, let me see, it was actually kind of expensive, I remembered it. It was very expensive. It's actually 170, I want to say, and it's crazy because these Levi New Balances. Last one I had was I think Kiff. These New Balance collaborations. It's crazy because the material on these is it's look like suede carpet material, man. But people are paying money for it. This is like almost 300 dollar shoe resale wise. This is a size 12 Levi's for feet. Size 12 in men's. Let me see if it has a retail on here. No, it doesn't. The shoes you would expect from us. Levi's for feet. Very interesting shoe, guys. Not for me, though. You see the Levi's paper with the New Balance logo and the Levi's logo? Very interesting shoe, guys. What do you guys think about that? In the comments on YouTube, let me know if you guys think these are fire or they trash. It's kind of crazy, though. The material actually is coming off. Very interesting shoe, man. But these are easy, good resale. Any collaboration like this is gonna be limited stock. So if you can get, I think it was online, first come, first serve means the fastest people to order, the people to get it. And you know your boy has definitely got his skills up. This one is from Finish Line. This is actually a Jordan 1 Mid, I know what this is. Shout out to the homie Sniper Kicks. I actually thought the similar thing he said in his new video when he said this is a shoe that he actually went to look for when he did sneaker con in Chicago. I think this is a very good investment. He believes it's gonna do as well as the smoke gray, light smoke gray mids. These are the linings. This is a size eight and a half. Draw one typical box. Okay, and these are the ones. The linen colorway. Any colorway like this is gonna do very well. If you guys can decipher and see what the difference of this color from a gray or a brown, it's kind of in between. This is like a linen, and the color blocking is very simple for a Jordan 1 men. A lot of women, a lot of girls, a lot of young ladies, because the TikTok has been very popularized to the Jordan 1 mids versus the high OGs that us guys like, which very high resale. These don't tend to resell very high, but I think these will be a very good investment. Like you know, Jordan 1 Miz, this is a $120 shoe. It's usually 115 or 130. I don't know what they're doing with Jordan 1 Miz anymore. I don't really flip, brick flip like I used to. Brick flip is a term we use in reselling where you're reselling shoes that are typically very high in profit. So this is considered a brick. But you know, I resell everything. I think this is a very good investment. This is actually the guest room in my place. 
in my sneaker room. I have a whole closet full of shoes that I am investing in. Maybe one day, once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'll show you guys a lot of good sneaker investments. This is from the NBA online store. A lot of people are gonna be surprised about to see that. People don't know that the NBA store actually do sell Jordan retros. If you are quick and you know where to get the information when they drop, because it's very sporadic. Sometimes the restock monitors on a lot of cook groups don't get it. But uh, I hit this pair. I think these are very interesting Jordan ones. This is the difference between the mids and uh, like I said, the highs. This is a high, I don't know what kind of box it comes in. I know it's a different box. Like I said, the NBA store giving your boy a coupon for something. This box is heat. And if you guys are sneaker heads or resellers, you guys should know what Jordan 1 this is. This is actually some early heat. This is something that's actually coming on Friday, September 24th. It was pushed back like a lot of other Jordans that's supposed to be coming out this season. Strictly because of shipping and COVID and uh, delays. But uh, you know what it is. The 1985 Jordan 1 box is a very colorful one. I'm going to read it off to you guys. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. It's white, total orange, multicolored, and it's a size 13 Bigfoot Gang Gang. You guys know what's going on. Brown paper, a little different. And these are the prototypes. These prototypes are very, very good in quality just off the first look. And I like the three different color laces. I don't pretty much know which lace color I would rock. Look at that total orange on the tongue on the back. And these Jordan ones are very, 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 very different. And it's crazy because they have an outline right here in order to help you give a little guide if you were gonna do surgery on these joints and turn these highs into lows. If you cut it right here at the dotted line, which I'm touching, it feels like a dotted line and it goes all the way around the shoe. It doesn't give you any sort of assistance to cut it a little bit better versus just a, another eyeball or another set of eyes where they give indentions. Cause if you look on the inside of the shoe, it doesn't have any indentions or cuts or anything. So I would just rock them as is. You can't even really tell the, um, the surgery line if you're wearing the shoes and someone's wearing it from afar. Like I said, these have dropped early on NBA on, uh, online store. Some uh, realtors, uh, retailers on stores or online get shoes and Nike might push them back for Nike sneakers app, but they might still drop the shoe. So I actually got the shoe a little early. You see it has a little Nike check on the toe. I like that, a little different, the total orange. And you have your uh, mixture of colors right here. It's actually look a little bit better in the hand and the materials as well, I'm not gonna lie. You see the leather quality is a little bit better than what we thought. Cause this colorway is a little bit something um, spontaneous. So didn't really know what to expect, but these are a little bit nicer in hand. You guys let me know what color laces you guys will rock with these. They have the black stock, stock laces in it and also have three colors, blue, white, and orange. Very interesting shoe right here. These retail at 170, as you guys know, right now they are before they drop. As you know, retail, retail is 170 for Jordan 1s, but the resale, it goes high, then it goes low right before it comes out, and then after it comes out and people didn't get it, it goes right back up. So I think they'll settle at around 250, but it's a very interesting box. I think the boxes kind of help create a good image or a good uh, marketing. I think that's very dope, very, very dope. Out of the three shoes I got shipped, I think that is the best because it is unreleased. I'm going to show you guys some of the shoes that I did get today from Lupin. This is actually a shoe that I won on reservation. This is a Dunk Championship Red. You know Dunks retail at $100. I already sold a pair of these today for uh, $200. So this is a double up, a good $100 profit. This is a size 9. It's not going for as high as 11 and a half. I say probably 175, 180, which is really, really, really good profit for a shoe. A lot of people don't understand. We don't make $100 profit on every shoe. It's very rare in the sneaker reselling business that you make $100 profit on each shoe. That's why the game is also quality and quantity. I want to get quality shoes, but also I want to get several pairs like this. I was only able to get two, and they had a sneakers pass, which is really impossible to secure a pair by, by today, but two two pairs are better than none. So I sold a pair today, got my money back for both, and I'm probably gonna flip this pair as well. If not, I'm gonna hold it, it's not a big deal. Nike Dunks, as long as you got a good colorway and a good size, it's always gonna go up, it's, it's, it's no brainer. It's honestly a no brainer. 
Today I went into South the Cab Mall because I was in Atlanta. Drove by there on accident, took the wrong exit. I said, why not stop in and see if I can catch some heat? And I caught a 12 and a half Carmine. I believe this is something somebody brought back and it does not have any pink on the sole. So it's a very big win, very rare size. Somebody probably bought it for their boyfriend or their son or their dad and it was not the right size. They brought it back. Thank God your boy it went in the store. It's really nice. Uh, retail 200, maybe 215 with tax. It's a little expensive on a six, but these are going for almost $300. So this is a good 60, $75 profit. And 12 and a half is a very rare size. You rarely see this size in store. It's kind of crazy that I got this. I, I really like this. Good hit, very good hit. So just, these are just, this is just a shoe that I went in the store and they end up having. I didn't have to enter the raffle for it. I didn't have to uh, know anybody at the store. I didn't have to be there early and stand in line. Sometimes people buy Jordans online or in store and they bring them back. They don't know that they're worth more shoe money than what they were when they paid for them. This is a Jordan 1 Low. I believe this is a Shadow. It's crazy because I was looking for more pairs of this because I didn't realize it's hit almost 200 already. Being that the shoes only cost a hundred dollars, hundred dollar shoe once again, just like the dunk, and these are selling for double. This is a colorway uh, comparable to the Baron colorway. If you guys know, the Baron colorway is the color of the baseball team Michael Jordan played on, the Barons. I like this colorway; it's very classic, very nice color blocking. Something you can put something together with a simple outfit. Resale is very nice on this. Maybe one ninety right now if you're pushing it. Or you got good clientele, two hundred dollars. $100 shoe, reselling for double. It's an easy double up, easy money. It's another shoe I just seen that was in store. I checked StockX, double check eBay, make sure it was profitable in that size, and then I paid for it. And then, you know, I do what I do. Last shoe is another shoe that they had uh, left over pairs of. This shoe is actually being slept on at the moment. I think this is a profitable shoe in the near future. You just gotta be patient or have resources like myself. Buy the shoe, put it somewhere in the closet, and forget about it, wait till it to go up. This uh, box is very similar to the prototype box where you see the Jordan 1 box with different color on it. It gives you an idea what shoe this is. A 7 wide is a very good size. It's the biggest size in grade school you can get. And these are obviously the grade school size of pollens. Jordan 1 pollens. I actually got a pair of them myself right there in the collection. I like these shoes. They're very good quality. It reminds me of the Wu-Tang Dunks or the Highwood Dunks, whatever you want to say. Material on it, leather-wise, is very decent. It's not as good as you thought. You would think something as classic as this colorway. One big selling point to me was the tongue, the Nike Air. I love that. With the white and the yellow and the black, it's just really nice. Something you can put together very nicely. But you guys, uh, let me know what you think about this unboxing. If you're interested in learning how to resell, make sure you hit the links in my description. Hit me directly. If you want to purchase any shoes from me, hit me on Instagram. I really appreciate you guys following me, watching my videos. It's been a little bit before I dropped a video, maybe two weeks. It's been crazy, man. One thing you don't think about as a content creator is you be living life every day and you want to make some time to shoot some videos, especially with me. I be hustling, selling shoes, running around every day. I'm going to try to make sure I make some more time to get some more content for you guys. I really appreciate the support. I'm going to post a link again in the description of uh, the write-up that uh, Yahoo did for me as a, YouTube, as a YouTuber and a sneaker reseller. And I really appreciate the support, man. I can't say that enough, man. Make sure you check your boy out. I'll holler at you guys. Like the video on the way out. Subscribe to the channel. Peace. Your boy, Trey D. Holla. Wow. This song is dedicated to everybody out there working hard. I don't care what you do. As long as it's legal. Because if you paying bills, you keeping it trill. If you taking care of your kids, then you on your job. You know what I'm saying? Clock in. I go hard for the money. Rain, snow, sunny. Pay it if you want me. Every day I'm so hungry, I work. So let's work. I go hard for the money. Rain, snow, sunny. Pay it if you want me. Every day I'm so hungry, I work. So let's 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 work.